Hi, today I'm going to show you an update of the Poly Slicer new and improved blade. Now the Poly Slicer was intended to cut uncooked and cooked polymer canes. Make sure that your cane, your uncooked cane, is a little bit in its cold setting because if it's warm, what's going to happen is, is that it's going to smooch. So, put it in a slot, guide it, and slice. That's the first layer. And here you go. See how thin? Look how thin. You can make jewelry with this. Earrings, rings, a lot of things you can make with uncooked polymer clay. Now I'm going to show you the cooked cane. Put it in this slot. Guide it. Slice. 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 Guide and slice. Guide and slice guide and slice. Don't forget to use your brush. And look how thin. I don't know if you can see it. It's really, really thin. You couldn't do that with the blade. It takes you time. Just with your blade alone and trying to be steady. See here, you got an even cut. I'm going to show you about the Poly Slicer Junior. The Poly Slicer Junior was intended for cooked polymer canes only. So for those that are doing just nails or any other type of artwork that requires these little polymer canes, just put the cane in the slot, guide it, and slice. Guide and slice. Guide and slice. Guide and slice. Guide and slice. And you can keep going and going and faster and faster as you go. See how thin? Look how thin that is. Very, very thin. In the bottom, there is a. See the slot here? It goes right through the bottom. So. In case it gets stuck, one of your slices, just take a piece of paper, cut it up, and just careful with the blade, just pass it through, and it comes down to the bottom. The same way with the poly slicer. Goes through the bottom. You can clean it, wipe it down with a little bit of soap and water. Just make sure that you do not wet the blade, just uh, just wipe it with a cloth. I'm going to show you how to change the blades. Very easy. On the Poly Slicer, we offer separately the blades. So when your blade dies out, gets dull, 
then this is what you do. Make sure that the blade is firmly in its groove. Turn the poly slicer the opposite side. Take a pen. Hold down. Hold it down and just push. And see? Be careful with the blade as you pull it out. Insert the new blade, making sure that the holes match and the blade is in the groove, being careful. Make sure that the hole match before you put in the pivot. The pivot, see, has a flat side. It should go from the front of the poly slicer. So, making sure that the hole is in the right guide. Just push it. Push. And there it goes. Make sure it's completely in. On the Poly Slicer Junior, the Junior uses the feather cut blade. So when you want to change the blade, all you got to do is make sure that the blade is up, hold the two sides, and with a pair of small pliers, you going to hold it from here tightly and hold down the two, part, the two wings of the Poly Slicer Junior pull up. Put it down carefully. Grab the new blade. Firmly holding down. Aligning it to the groove of the blade holder. And push it down. It's that simple. If you would like to order the Poly Slicer or the Poly Slicer Junior or the replacing blades, please look at the link below of the YouTube video. Thank you for watching and have a good day.